In this bulletin, more lawsuits with Canon and printer shipment increases are among the top news stories this week. Hello, I'm David Gibbons. So what are the top 10 news stories in printing consumables this week? Well, we start with Canon, which is suing at least 15 companies in the United States. The company believes the sale and distribution of certain aftermarket toner cartridges infringe its patents. Many industry players say this could be as big as the infamous Canon dongle gear legal battles since 2012. Many aftermarket players in China, as well as the US, had developed workaround solutions that were designed not to infringe Canon's patents. But all that could change. Steve Wheaton, the newly appointed Director of Strategic Development at Printright, is in the United States and he joins me now. Steve, news has broken that Canon has issued a number of lawsuits to companies there in the United States. Can you tell us more? Well, it's still very early days and uh, we are getting a lot of information now about new litigation um, filed by Canon against numerous companies here in the US. Uh, it seems that they're asserting new patents which they've been able to have awarded in the last six months. There are seven patents that they're now asserting and they all seem to be related to the dongle gear issues which of course Canon have uh, filed patent lawsuits around the world to various companies in the past few years. Now these patent lawsuits, some of which were filed um, uh, back in 2006 and so these filed these Filings only just been awarded as patents within the last six or seven months is what we can ascertain at this point in time. So we need to get into the detail now of what these new patents are really saying, what their claims are, and how they relate to those people who have uh, workaround patents for the dongle gear issues to determine really what the complaints from Canon are at this time. So this is early days and we'll need to do quite a lot more investigation before we've got more information for you. In a totally different case in the United States, Canon has concluded its dispute with Costland in the Central District Court of California. As a result, Costland has agreed to cease all activity related to imported toner cartridges that infringed Canon's patents. And in yet another case, a US District Court is considering raising the payment Color Imaging and General Plastic Industrial may have to pay to Canon. The court has already awarded Canon 4.5 million US dollars in damages, but the judge is considering adding an extra 20% in enhanced damages and Canon's attorney fees and expenses and court costs. According to IDC Tracker, the shipments of printers increased 1.2% in the last quarter of 2017. Inkjet printer shipments grew 3.3%. Epson led the way with 12.2% growth, followed by Brother at 5.2% and Canon at 1.4%. However, top-ranked HP recorded a decline of 3.8% compared to the same time last year. And in brief, the China-based Dinglong Group, which acquired Mito over a number of years, has appointed Mito's founding CEO Mary O. Yang as vice president of the Dinglong Group. More than 1,200 buyers from 76 countries have already registered for the Imaging Supplies Expo in Cairo on March 22. Apart from Egypt, the top 10 countries buyers will come from are Saudi Arabia, Algeria, Turkey, the Emirates, Lebanon, Italy, the UK, Jordan, Russia and Poland. A court has ordered the Russian subsidiary of HP to pay 1.9 million US dollars to compensate artists because rampant piracy makes it difficult for performers and filmmakers to earn money from their work there. Moody's say the Indian economy is starting to recover from the negative impact of demonetization and the new GST tax, but is keeping growth estimates unchanged at 7.6% for 2018. Globally well-known printer cartridge and industry advocate, trainer and technical expert Dr John Wyhoff has passed away. His family and former colleagues at Static Control were moved to have Dr Wyhoff featured on the front cover of our Imaging World magazine this month.
And for all the details of these stories and other breaking news every day, go to rtmworld.com 2D or pick up a copy of our Imaging World magazine with Dr. Whitehoff on the front cover. Published in English, Spanish, Chinese, Russian and Arabic. Thanks for keeping in touch with This Week Today. I'm David Gibbons.